And we are going live. Yes, we're going live. I know it's been a while. I know it's been a while. I'm going to go ahead and pop out this uh, boat here. So let the chat, let some people get come roaring in here as they often do. And we'll get some people that, you know, hopefully we'll be bouncing in here. Just uh, let me go ahead. I think what I need to do here, man, my health is okay. It's kind of orange right now, which is not terrifically good. It's okay, but it's just not fantastic. But it's not bad. So I'm just sitting here talking to myself right now until Dansky's here. What's up, Dansky? Dansky's bouncing in, bouncing in. And you're used to seeing Jeff in this spot right here, but uh, Jeff is uh, currently um, traveling in an in undisclosed location. Dansky, if you could just go ahead and tweet this out. Um, I usually do that, and I have not done that, and, um, you know, stream health is okay, which is, um, hopefully this is good. What's going on, my man, Dansky? How are you? Yeah, there's a, there's actually a YouTuber that I watch called Dansky. He's, um, I forgot what he does. He does some kind of technical stuff, but his, his whole name is Dansky Together, and, and um, I don't know if that's you. I don't know if that's you or not. It could be. What's up, Ed? Ed is here. Ed's bouncing in. Ed, friends, Lowelski. Sorry, man. It's just a little tough for me to say. It's just long. It's a lot of digits there. A lot of, I mean, letters, I should say. So we're just going to wait for a couple people to really pop in here. Stream health is okay. It's a little bit of a delay. Uh, kind of weird, but what are you going to do, man? So, um, yeah, as we get going here. No, that's not you. Okay, just checking, man. I had to check and see if that might be you. You never know. You're like, hey, maybe am I watching Dansky this whole time and I don't even know it, don't realize it? Hey, Scarbato Sun, how are you doing? I'm doing all right. How about yourself? How are you doing this fine Saturday? Um, am I saying that right? Scarbatos? Scarbatos Sun? Where is Scarbatos? I don't know. Is it, is it a type of sun? What is that all about? Is that That's pretty interesting. I don't know what that what that is exactly. But um there we go. We finally went to green, which is good. We should be streaming pretty well here. And um, if you can, I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to drop this in a couple of places so we can get this uh, get this going. Usually I play a little bit of a like a little music thing until we get people going. And then, well, today I did a little bit different, um, you know, just uh, kind of going to wait and talk to some people. And, um, you know, see how that goes. we got some things to talk about today. There's a lot of cool stuff going on um, out there in, in the world. And Rippleverse, is it the Rippleverse? It is the Rippleverse. There's a lot of interesting stuff that we're starting to see um, pop up there. Yeah, and I'm doing three things at one time. There we go. Okay, so I just went out there in a couple different places. Um, so today, yeah, it was funny. I was just talking to Jeff a little bit ago, but he usually occupies this space He's usually the guy that's going to be, you know, putting in here, talking about whatever awesome stuff he talks about on the chain here. And then we'll get this party started too. let a few more people come on in. I know it's early on Saturday, but it could be late wherever you are um, or later. So, yeah, um, whatever time it might be. Let's see if a few more bounce in. Doing OK. Oh, Scarborough. OK, there you go. Scarborough, uh, UK. Locos called our Scarbados, as in Barbados. Oh, Scarbados, I got you right on. All right, man, thank you for that. So Scarbados, son, I like that. Scarbados like Barbados, right, uh, from Scarborough. Is that, is that the pr pr correct pronunciation? Scarborough, UK, the locals? That's funny. So um, who coined that? Has it been going on for a while, the Scarbados? Like like Barbados, Scarbados. It is, it is cooler, right? You have to have a cooler sort of a you know, um, come from when, you, when you're doing your thing. It is kind of a neat thing. Um, hey, it's uh, is it C-A-K Kelly or is it? Yeah, I'd probably C-A-K Kelly. What's up? Put the big smiley face on the kid. And um, there's no, I don't see any. It's just, I like when people use the regular avatars, you know. Let's go totally anonymous because, you know, anonymity is, let's not, let's not underestimate it. You know, some people use their real name. I'm not going to point anybody out. I'm not saying it's me. I'm saying some people do it. Some people are known to be using their real name, and uh, it happens. What are you going to do? It sounded like a really good idea when I was uh, on Twitter a couple years ago that I would jump out there. Hey, let's get up on Twitter. Let's uh, let me see if I can grab you know the name. And um, well, that kind of stuck. And and um, since I've been on Twitter now, believe it or not, over 10 years, um, you know, I wasn't cool enough to come up with you know XRP chip or 
you know, crypto chip or something like that. I wasn't, uh, so it kind of stuck. I guess you can change it and maybe I will, I don't know. Maybe I will change it. We shall see how that will go. Um, See, where is everybody today? This is an odd sort of a thing. Am I still live? What is going on? Hello, is this on? Apparently, I, we are going somewhere. Yeah. I was hoping a couple people would bounce in here so then we could start the show. Yeah, I'll run the open, get that whole thing going. But I wanted to kind of point out a couple things that are going on the chain. So on the chain.io, if you go jump out there, um, one of the things we haven't hooked up yet, and it's my bad, really, but we went, started started putting the podcasts up. So the interview, we have one interview right up there right now. So it'll be on Google, um, Google um, Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, um, Stitcher, and um, Spotify, which I'm a Spotify guy. Um, you know, if you guys know me for a long time, you know that I'm an Apple nut, okay? The new 16-inch um, uh, MacBook Pro just came out yesterday or the day before. They just launched it. The specs on it are ridiculous. Um, it has a... Uh, Get up to eight terabytes um, in you know uh, and an SSD, um, an amazing um, 64 gigs of RAM. It is a really amazing XRP minute. Yeah, the XRP minute. I you know <laughs> funny enough, I used to do the XRP minute, and uh, that kind of like switched up a little bit. So when we when we started doing on the chain, I said, hey, you know what? Chip off the block. Chip off the block. So that's why you know I basically called it off the block. So um, off the block, on the chain, chip, that is me. And uh, that's what I, one of the reasons I roll with that. Yeah, so I'm an Apple nut job. But I got to tell you, man, I'll tell you one thing. There's always room for innovation. I tell you that I love Spotify. Spotify, I feel like, is the probably best music player. I have tried them all. But it comes down to a preference. It's like, what project do you like in cryptocurrency? Do you like XRP, yeah, we all love XRP. Um, do you like V Chain? You know, I mean, Litecoin. There's just there's so many projects to look at, but I think the XRP community we're more along the lines of looking for something that has some use case, right? There's it, it exists for a purpose, not just because like, hey, I rolled out a coin and guess what? It's worth whatever, you know. And Bitcoin was the first, so it's always going to be. Um, the first there will, there will never be another first because bitcoin paved the way it's a store of value it's digital gold 2.0 in a sense rtb what's up here we're just getting started here uh roy so thanks for uh bouncing in if you could uh you know maybe tweet this out i know it's uh out there and you know it's weird saturdays are weird you know i live here in south florida and i have to tell you i walked out this morning earlier on 6 15 to walk the dog with just a pair of shirts uh, shorts and a t-shirt and I'm telling you, I get out of there and it's like, it's a little nippy. And you guys are going to laugh at me, but nippy to me was 64 degrees um, because it's usually 89 degrees here. And I don't know, Roy, you're probably faster than I am at, at doing the conversion on the on the, uh, on the the Fahrenheit to Celsius. I don't know what that would be, but it's probably in the high teens, maybe um, 64 degrees. I don't know what that would end up being. Hard to know what that would uh, what that would be. And if you see me looking around here, it's because I've got several monitors and I'm just uh, looking at the chat right now. I just moved that over there. And um, so I don't know what that ends up being. But anyway, it was just, just pleasant because, you know, the humidity here is usually pretty heavy. Texas XRP, what's up? What's up? Good morning to you. Cheers, coffee and chip time. That's what it is. Look at this. And because that's green, you're seeing a little bit of the background popping in there. But yeah, I got my Starbucks coffee today. I'm um, real happy about that. It's always a good thing. Let me get a little sippy poo in there. So yeah, 17 or so. Yeah, it was kind of right. I said like high teens. So yeah, so around 17, right? And I'm like, ooh, the cool weather's here. This is fantastic. Ooh, the cool weather. We're so excited. And meanwhile, everybody else is like, look, I had a, I had um, two feet of snow on my car this morning that I had to dig out on my SUV before I got that. Yeah, it's chilly up there. Dansky, what's the what what is the weather over there? And I gotta guess, Ed, it's probably chill over there too. Probably in the you know, eight or nine Celsius over there where you're at, Ed, I'm guessing somewhere in that neighborhood. But yeah, it's starting to get a little nippy. Um, and it was funny, I was talking to Jeff this morning. Like I said, he's in an undisclosed location. Um, and he's he's uh, currently traveling, but he's traveling. Um, um, he's, he's traveling, you know, 
Well, I don't want to give it away. It's he, he he said he might pop in here, but I know he's um he's you know he's working, man. The guy he's a working man. He works 24/7. What did I tell you? 31 degrees. All right, 31 degrees. So that's um that's zero Celsius. Yeah, that's about zero. 30. It's a like yeah, just under right around zero somewhere there. And Scarbato Sun says good afternoon. Beer and chip time here. Well, I like that Scarbato Sun. You know, I'm always good for a good beer. You know, yesterday I, I went to my favorite wine place called Total Wine here. It's a giant chain in the States. And if I could set the stage for you, it's like a the biggest grocery store you have or let's say department store. But all it has is anything alcohol related. They also have a cigar department. But they set up this brand new area which had a... Uh, I forget what they have a little fun you know name for it and they had like a little beer tasting going on and I tried some um, IPAs and I tried this amazing uh, it was a grapefruit beer and the last time I had a good grapefruit beer was I was in Europe and I think it was in uh, Montenegro um, I was there and I just oh, man it was such a good one it wasn't quite the one I had yesterday wasn't quite as good oh Ed New Jersey got you man um, New Jersey. Yeah, New Jersey. I was talking to someone from New Jersey yesterday business-wise, and they were telling me it was getting a little nip. So 29 Celsius in Singapore every night. It's 29, 365 days a year. There you go, man. All right. Well, there it is. So it's uh, warm. But then you're – so then Vegas too. Um, yeah, Vegas is pretty warm. Vegas can get pretty, pretty hot. But what I like about Vegas um, – the high today, 35. Yeah, um, what I like about Vegas is the fact that it's um, it's a drier heat, right? I like more desert heat, but here, you know, it's like you walk outside, you walk a little bit of distance, and you feel like you got to change your clothes, but, you know, you get used to it after a while. Um, after living here, I don't know how many years. It's been quite a long time, but let's uh, – I think we have a good lot of people bouncing in. So today – um, let's get to it, Willie, please. Today's video, we're going to talk about um, a, a Brad Garlinghouse is, is guessing what's going to happen and how many cryptocurrencies are going to survive. We're going to go into some Ripple news, and it all starts right now. <laughs> Chip here off the block. Thank you for popping in today on the chain. You can learn more about what we're up to at onthechain.io. We haven't. Uh, you can also scroll to the bottom there. There's a little sign up. We're gonna start doing some news, things that are happening. We're gonna be opening blogs per, in, in a little bit. But right now we're just uh, focusing on. on uh, we just did another really good interview. It was a really a fun interview. And it was fun in a weird way because it kind of took a little bit of a turn, um, started going really off topic. And sometimes that's when the magic really happens. So that interview is going to be coming out more about that in a little bit. Um, I wanted to talk and um, I wanted to see, Roy, if you could. Um, there's a big event going on today. I wanted to focus a little bit of time and energy on that. And it's um, it's it's the crypto. Hang on a second. Let me pull it up here on the screen. Let's just do that. XR. Roy, put the link in there if you would, but I wanted to talk about a little bit. This is Sincerely George is running. Um, it's going to be an awards show. It's all around. If you guys don't have your ticket, it's not too late to go there. I believe it's here for XRP. But um, Roy, help me if you could there, if you could just uh, um, pop the uh, the Twitter link in there. Because I want to pull it up here and talk a little bit about it. Here, let me pull it up here. I thought I had it on the screen, but I was just looking through and I don't have it on the screen. Yeah, it's going to be, and by the time maybe you listen to this, yeah, so it's here for XRP. Let me go ahead and screen share here. Yeah, so here we go. So I want to talk a little bit about this. It's a really cool um, project here. Where's Roy? Roy, what did, uh, Vegas is hot three to four months. Here, Yeah, at here for XRP. I'm here now, so this is good. So this is the XRP Community Choice Awards. Um, the aim was to raise 10,000 XRP, and I think we've, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Roy, I think we're past that. Um, I think we are. I'm not 100% sure on that, but you, I know you're very close to this project as you've been really um, assisting with it. And um, sincerely, George, what a brainstorm idea she had to put this together. Um, 
to really put something really unique for the, and again, it's only a five XRP. Um, you tip it to XRP and there's some great people. Crypto Ginger is going to be presenting digital nomad investor, um, Patricia. Um, she's been blogging Patricia C um, jungle Inc. Amazing jungle Inc. is going to be there. Matt Hamilton, um, hammer toe, as you know him for the XRP community fund. I am also part of this will be presenting one of the awards as well. Hey, what's up, Mr. B? What's going on? Mr. B, you are you are the man, Mr. B. I got to tell you, I'm so it was so awesome finally, you know, getting a chance to, you know, to see what you guys were doing and up to, man. It was like a really exciting part. And you guys really made you and DAI and, and, and Brad Kimes you really made such an enjoyable. Um, you brought it back home to us, man. It was we enjoyed every moment of that we kind of felt like we were living vicariously through you by your experience and we got to experience that because of what you shared i want a big big shout out to you mr b for really going that extra yard and man making it happen and seeing you on camera and and um you know i'm so happy that you know i i think you're toying with the idea of streaming because i think you would be awesome in that because you're really great on camera but i hope that happens i know it was like, i know i subbed to your channel and man you already had like 1500 subs at the time and who knows you probably blown way past that but yeah, uh, so this is happening tonight. This is a YouTube event. If you guys don't have your ticket, look, it's 5XRP. You do five, tip bot 5XRP here. Let me see if it's, yep, yeah, right here. So there it is. There's another part of it. So if you guys go here, you can learn more about it. It's at here, the number 4XRP. Um, and again, uh, Sincerely George, really been working hard on this. I am just thrilled to be part of this whole thing. And it's going to be taking place at 7 p.m. I believe it's 7 p.m. Eastern time. Although you know, um, I'm just assuming that. But I know that um, I know sincerely, George is in Texas, I believe, or one of those southern states. I don't know exactly. You watch the rehearsal. Absolutely amazing. So professionally put together. That's awesome, RTB. Wow, super exciting. Can you confirm that it's 7 then? 7 p.m. on the Eastern time. There it is, right there. I just confirmed it. How about that? So there it is right there, guys. Uh, performances, prizes, special appearances. This is bound to be probably one of the greatest, uh, aside from um, from Swell. I mean, obviously, you're not, but I'm talking about as far as the streaming community coming together and people just, you know, being part of this whole thing is going to be fantastic. And I really wanted to talk about it because I'm really proud of uh, what Sincerely George and a lot of others, big team of that behind her. But it was really some something she championed for the community to really bring some awareness and try to get some other um, devs out there. Here you go. Here's another one about there. CC so Notorious. Notorious uh, is going to be part of this. So, yeah, this is going to be a fun event. And if you don't get to see it live, that's okay because you'll be able to watch it at some point. But I think live is the way to go. Um, also, Riley Q, who is really, I mean, you know, I jumped out there on Coil, and I'm really happy that she's been able to, um, I was looking at some of the payments that she's been able to receive on Coil, and it is phenomenal. But we've got performances by Riley Q, Kickboy Triple, Cyflux, Notorious XRP, and Adam Kilpatrick. Um, what's up? Eagle just jumped in. What's going on, my man? Eagle, if you guys don't know Blockchain Monkeys, who's in the chat right there right now, Eagle is just crushing it right now. He's crushing it on his own channel. If you see those little three dots next to his name, click on that. You'll be able to go right to his channel and sub it. But he's been putting a lot of um, Ripple XRP news out there as well as he really has become the... The um, I would say the the number one expert. He says he's not an expert. I think he's an expert. Eagle, you are an expert. Eagle is an expert on VeChain, so I will say that right there. So I gotta say what he's been putting together um, is phenomenal. We saw Jay Vaught jumped in today. Uh, Jay says it will be huge, and Jay, you are absolutely right. Anthony Ajax Jackson popped in here. Hello, my brother from another. Thanks for the stream. Not sure if I can catch it, but try to watch most of it. Yeah, I, yeah, I'm. Just, I think some of us might be in the same boat, you know, Saturdays, a lot of times with things going on, but I have a feeling it's going to be long. Uh, Roy, what's your estimation on the time frame on that one? I'm not actually sure how long it's going to go, but it's probably going to go for a little bit, man. It's going to go for a little bit. And as you know, I want to jump back into Ego from Blockchain Monkeys, who's also you know, an amazing contributor to On The Chain, and um, he really lights it up. And it's really great to see the XRP community embracing VeChain. Like I stated a little bit earlier, but one of the reasons we really enjoy something like a V chain is because it has a use case. And aside from Ripple, when we see news coming out, what's the news that we see probably the most? It's V chain, right? 
because they're solving a real problem. It's amazing that like, you know, Jeff and I talk about this all the time. There's a lot of startups, there's a lot of cryptocurrencies that have a use case. They're not really solving a problem. You know, solving a problem or having a use case is really, you know, the, really the, the basis for any startup out there. But again, guys, you send five XRP to here, here for the number four XRP and you're there. I'm gonna be there later on tonight. Danny Torres, um, you're gonna be able to win this amazing painting. And I'm just saying, you know, look, I, I, I would love to win this thing. I've been admiring Danny's uh, work for a long time now, but this is just simply amazing, this this uh, painting right here. Look at that, textured XRP. How'd you like to have that hanging on your wall? Oh yeah, they can count me in for that. There you go. Um, Salva Leone's there. There's some um, gonna be win stickers. I mean, this is gonna be good. Who's gonna win? It's going to be just, wow, what a cool thing. So I wanted to talk a little bit about that. Let's go back over to the chat here. Let's see who's bouncing into the chat. There's some uh, people in here. Let's see what's going on in the chat here. It's what we're talking about. Um, hey, what's going on? So Jeff has popped in. Jeff, what is going on? Jeff, I told him you were in an undisclosed location because that's up to you if you want to disclose where you are right now um, or any other details, you know. As I am, you know, Chip coming from the underground bunker and another secured location. Um, that I don't talk too much. I own a lot of oil. Jave, uh, a lot of oil. We're we talking about um, baby oil. What are we talking about? We're we talking about oil, like the, uh, you know, like uh, oil stocks. What are we talking about exactly here? So I don't know, Jeff, if you can, um, if you can, if you want to put a little word in there, we'll talk a little bit about it. What's up, Notorious? Hey, Notorious, you must have heard me drop your name. I just dropped your name. I don't know, maybe 60 seconds ago. Um, the reason being is we're talking about the um, XRP um, Community Choice Awards, and um, I called your name out that you're gonna be part of this awesome thing. So thanks for popping in here too, um, really great. And Mr. B, I don't know if Mr. B's still here, but again, I was talking about Mr. B and, and, and just the amazing amount of content that you guys brought from Swell, and man, you made us feel like we were part of it. And that I love, so and I thought it was a really sweet job on Ripple's behalf to bring some of the people that are just stellar in our community did I say stellar? I didn't mean stellar. I mean stellar, not as in stellar <laughs> XLM, but stellar. You know, outstanding individuals that just are con constantly contributing value to this community. So, yeah, that's one of the, he's here. Okay, cool. And that's what one of the things that I, I, I find just was a really good thing because it's one thing to hear, you know, your local, you know, your our regular trades report about it. Yeah, so-and-so happened and they choose what they want. But when our very own, you know, our community members are there and they're sharing with us, it's a whole new level. And that was something that I think was an amazing turning point uh, that that Ripple did. And I'm just really, I'm really, it was a really smart decision right there. Um, so there's Jeff. What's Jeff saying? Had coffee with XRP Twin this morning. Yeah. So that tells you a little bit about where he's at. So XRP Twin, you know, is Ferdy. You know, Ferdy, the amazing blogger. Um, so Ferdy, he had coffee with him today. So where is he? Is Ferdy in the States? Well, I've already said that Jeff is not here. He's actually traveling. World traveler Jeff, what we could, should call him. He's been to a lot of countries. If he's a, He really is well-traveled. Jay Vaught says, hey, nice Jeff and Ferdy doing a meetup. Yeah, and I hope you guys... Please tell me you took a photo, please. We and, and you know, please, I would hope you would have taken a photo. You know, I'm just gonna get a little bit of my Starbucks, which I like because it's transparent because it is green. So you're seeing a little of the green screen pop through there. Isn't that kind of weird? Weird and wacky, look at that. Yeah. So there you go. DNI is in the house. What's going on, DNI? Everyone, welcome to the XRP family. Hey, thanks, guys. Don't forget to uh, hit those thumbs up below and the sub and all that good stuff. You guys are all subbers anyway, which I like. Hey, Spanish Fly is in here. What's up, Spanish Fly? Mr. B says, hey, I met a banker who moves $350 billion a day who's ready to use ODL. Wow. Holy moza. Wowie wowza. Let me think about that. 350 billion a day. That seems like a pretty big number. It's almost a number I can't really conceive, right? If you think about 350 billion a day. So that's pretty interesting, Mr. B. Um, 350B. Whoa, that's see now I know really not seeing that we now we know where the Mr. the B and Mr. B is all about. We were thinking it might have been the first initial of a name. It's not. It's Mr. B as in Mr. Billions, right? Mr. B is in Mr. Billions. That's what I'm starting to think. Now, I could be wrong, and I I'm, often am wrong. So 
Um, who knows exactly how that really works out. But um, what's AJ saying? AJ saying, hey, his two cents, OTC crew, Jungle, Oz, DNI, cryptocurrency news, do the streaming right, um, thing right, facts without the hype. Yeah, you know, and there's a big enough community for everything. I appreciate you sharing that. Um, you know, I don't. I, I sometimes think that, you know, um, the flavors, all the different flavors are awesome, you know, and I've been watching YouTubers that I haven't really watched. I've actually been venturing a little bit outside of, of, of the of the normal sort of, uh, I would say, the, um, the XRP community. You know, it's amazing what you can learn from other people, you know, when you're doing this. And you, you you have your community, but it's fun to see what some other people are doing too. And yeah, there's I, I liked all the different flavors. You know, I'm big on vanilla, but you know, every once in a while you dip your toe in the chocolate. So I think there's enough there's enough awesomeness to go around. And it's one of the things that I enjoy about that. Like for DNI, DNI brings something so unique to the space um, with his perspective and his background that it's 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 just I mean, you're getting uniqueness. You're getting him. You know, you're getting. Um, his slice of life and how he sees what's happening and with his manifesto he's declaring and putting stuff out there he's not saying you know he's committing it to paper man he's committing it why well, would say paper anymore it's kind of an old thing but he's basically writing it down right to be read so he's putting it out there for us to enjoy and to read and say huh a lot of people you know to verbalize that there's a lot of different ways you could do that but it's nice to see what he's up to as well and notorious Notorious has this creative sort of I don't even know how I don't even know how to describe Notorious. I mean the videos he puts together, it takes such there's so there's so much thought going behind there to be able to take a point or several points and make it happen and let it unfold through a very dramatic sort of a way. And again, there's there's only one notorious, man. And it's, it's what I love about this community and I think is so special about what we do is that there's so many different flavors to make it go around, man. And it's exciting, right? I mean, somebody was uh, saying the other day, like, you know, hey, so which one do you prefer? Do you Are you more of a Netflix guy? Are you more of an Amazon guy? An Amazon, you know, do you watch stuff on? Or how about this new Apple um, TV? And I'll be honest, I don't have the Apple TV anyway. Man, I don't have time for that. I'm a YouTube guy. I watch YouTube 24-7. And the funny thing is, yeah, big TVs. Yeah, like tablets. Where do I watch it? On my phone. Yeah, on my phone. It's ridiculous, right? This is where I watch all my stuff. Holding my phone, headphones sometimes, sometimes not. But yeah, that's where I spend a lot of stuff. Oh, yeah, Punk is in here. Oh, yeah, Punk, what's going on? Good for you. Alex Yeats here. What's going on, Alex? Good to see you. XRP Carolina. XRP Carolina, uh, go ahead and um, DM me. Um, um, I, want, I, I, I I've been meaning to ask you something, but I, I keep forgetting to DM you. So go ahead and DM me, and then I'll go ahead and we'll... We'll connect. We'll answer up there. Um, yeah, me too, Chip. YouTube or YouTube or Xbox, right? And um, I kind of, I kind of got off the gaming thing. I had to because it created such a weird addiction for me that I just, um, even when the kids had their, you know, their, um, their stuff, I had to stay away from it because it was always one more thing, one more this, one more that, and I was like getting crazy with it. So I just said, you know what? I'm done with the whole thing, man. I sort of had to like take a little bit of a step back there. I had to just pop off that there's just there was only really only one way to do it so um yeah so dni yeah what's he saying hey he's, he's a big shout out to xrp carolina hoping his weekend's going okay um and um let's see what else we have i'm just going through the comments here um dni says i made a great point and i don't know man, i made several points but i i think i think it was might have been talking back when i was talking about the community and what we're doing what we're all up to and and uh, but anyway i i listen i always what with dni what he does Look, that's that's on a whole different level. That's like um, that's a whole level that I and it's and why it's fun to watch for me is because um, it's it's a way of thinking that is is maybe some ways parallel. But what he what he gets to the root of is like when you're able to declare something and put it out there, man. You know, um, I have this saying that I stole from a friend of mine that everything is a good idea until someone has to do something, right? Hey, let's do this. You know, you have friends like, hey, man, wouldn't it be cool? Yeah, man, be cool. And what if we did this? Yeah, yeah. Hey, let's organize it. And all of a sudden, it's like crickets, you know, nobody, everyone looking around and everybody like, huh, what, what, what did you say? It's, everything is a good idea. Everything's a great idea until someone has to do something and somebody did do something. We have YouTubers in this space. We have people like Mr. B, who I hope is going to be start, you know, streaming. But again, the information he shares, just phenomenal, man. He's 
researches stuff that nobody sees or finds. And this is really what makes this space unique. I love what goes on on Twitter. And even though I've been on Twitter over 10 years, Twitter has become a mainstay, has become so valuable in the world of uh, cryptocurrency at large, but also really the XRP community, man. That really is Twitter for me. And Twitter was a lot of things before that. Yeah, I follow design, tech, you know, CEOs, CTOs, things that were going on. There wasn't a lot of engagement. The engagement we get from the community on Twitter is absolutely phenomenal. So I think that is really kind of cool. Hey, let's jump through some news. What do you guys say we do a little bit of news here? Let's uh, let's see if I can get this right here. Let's pop back over here. Yeah, there we go. And um, let's go through it. So obviously you guys know about um, SBI confirmed that uh, Japan Vietnam remittance service with major TP bank. Um, XRP Research Center broke this. It was... Um, uh, we lost that a little bit there. So SBI Ripple Asia, SBI Remit, and TP Bank, which is based in Vietnam, announced the start of uh, the first um, Japan, uh, Japan, 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 Vietnam um, remittance service. So um, we know we've heard about this, but I, I wanted to kind of give a couple thoughts on this. What I see happening in Asia is just blowing my mind. I, I, I see that Asia really... You know, they're really leaders in the space. Um, I see some good things coming out of Europe as well. But I got to say, Asia really has their act together when it comes to not only regulation, but um, cryptocurrency, you know, remittance, uh, really looking at. And they've made some hard decisions and they go like, well, geez, what can I use to do a three second, you know, cross border um uh, you know, payment of some kind, right? What, what am I going to use? I mean, the obvious choice is, um, you know, using Ripple's um, software-based stuff, their ODL stuff, uh, you know, combined with, uh, you know, the XRP um, digital assets. So I see this stuff. I see so much good stuff going on in the space. It is really good. This was another one that um, I thought there was a quote here that I wanted to mention. Nope, it wasn't. It was just two articles in the same thing. So you guys know that Brad and weird. I don't, why is why is this not pulling the? Let's see. Yeah, you know, I'll tell you one thing that happened. So let's see if this is. Yeah, there we go. I really ought to move myself to the other side, right? This is kind of weird. So one of the things that happened is, um, so the the new operating system came out for Apple. This is just sort of an aside. And one of the things that happened with that was. Uh, they changed the way they do stuff. So what happened is OBS, even though they knew the change was coming, did not make room for it. So there we go. There, there's my microphone. And then let's uh, get some of this out of the way here. Let's just do that. And uh, oh boy, let me see. Ah, you guys are just going to have to deal with me over here. How's that? Let's just deal with that. I know I can't get the whole thing on here, but let's do this. So Brad Garlinghouse, basically, you know, he's, um, I think he's stated this before, but one of the things he's talked about is that what's really going to survive out there, right? So he, you know, one of this article asserts he's definitely one of the more well-known personalities out there. You know, there's a bunch of them, you know, and uh, we know Sonny Lou, obviously, from from VeChain. We know, um, um, you know, uh, who, who, boy, I'm drawing blanks right now. But, yeah, he, I mean, you look at stuff. So Garlinghouse predicts that 99% of all digital um, coins will go to zero. And there are many cryptocurrency projects out there. I mean, there's something like 3,000 plus. And then there's all these, all these weird tokens, too. Anybody can spin up a token. But I'm talking about more or less along the lines of the ones that really are some um, some tokens out there. And he gave an interview to Bloomberg uh, back in November 5th when he said that all of 1%. So one of the things I wanted to talk about here is this is this idea when we when we talk about the, you know, we, we, we laugh sometimes about Bitcoin maxis. You know, I saw an interview with Tone Vase the other day. Um, it was on Ivan on Tech, and if you guys don't know Ivan on Tech, he's phenomenal. He's great in a lot of ways. He puts together a really good program. It's if you just search Ivan A V A N um, on Tech, he did a um, interview with Tone Vase, and I got to tell you, he's an amazing interviewer. The most outside of what um, Ivan was doing, the most interesting part of that interview, there was a little squirrel kind of like walking behind Tone Vase, and he was like kind of like checking stuff out, and like I got completely sidetracked, and I was like watching that squirrel, and I was like, man, I, you know. I almost felt like he should go interview the squirrel because Tone Vase was off on one of his uh, one of his weird rants. You know, it was kind of a, a weird sort of a thing. But what we talked a little bit about before was V Chain having some real world utility, solving a problem, right? Counterfeiting is huge, and I've seen conflicting numbers on Amazon. I've seen anything from 15 to 25 or 30 percent of the stuff that you buy on Amazon is knockoff stuff. It's not legitimate stuff. And so VeChain is really solving that issue, that supply chain problem 
of being able to verify. You know, you buy an expensive wine, you want to know it's the wine that you bought, not somebody slapped a label on some garbage wine and then is peddling it as um, the real deal. So I think this is such an amazing um, sort of a problem to be solved. And we've probably all been caught some point getting something, you know, getting some some, uh, you know, some counterfeit something, especially if you buy stuff on Amazon, you know, it's hit and miss. And you don't even know if you can believe the review says a verified person, but who knows if they have an army verifying and buying their own stuff. Nobody really knows. And so when they talk about there's more than 3000 digital assets trading around the globe on a daily basis, few of, few of them meet the needs and expectations of customers, right? It's just like any company. If you open up a company, you're solving a problem but it's not a problem that needs to be solved. It's like, hey, man, I'm going to make an air freshener that only dispenses whatever. It's like, um, OK, you know, OK, not a bad idea. A real niche sort of a product. Same with cryptocurrencies and digital assets. The whole digital asset space is like, hey, man, I invented a coin. Yes, I got a coin. I got a coin. What does it do? It's just a coin. It has a cool name. What's it called? It's called the X6421 coin. And what does it do? It's just a coin. Stores value. What kind of value? Sorry, man. Bitcoin already grabbed that spot. That's not going to happen. So, I, I, you know, I don't know if it's going to go to one, you know, one percent are going to survive. You look at let's do some quick math. One percent um, of a hundred, one percent of a thousand, right? One percent of three thousand. That's not many projects really sticking around there. Right. In the grand scheme of things, I kind of think what we'll have is failure, fallout and other projects coming in and starting. So that's probably what's going to happen. Who else popped in here? We see. Uh, um gxrp perez is in here smash those likes and subscribe well done gxrp perez appreciate that um yeah jeff uh jeff from the hodl review jeff's usually in the spot i basically scammed his spot today because he's not here and he's out traveling and he had an amazing um some coffee over there at a cafe uh with ferdy which is pretty cool and again i hope there are photos for this man we got to put them up on uh Show some love. Give some give some thumbs up. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate that. Jeff, secure your bag. Yeah, so another thing I want to talk about. Let's get going. Let's move this program right along. Let's talk about regulation. Oh, my God, is this boring. Here is the story in regulation. There is none in the United States. There probably won't be some for any time in the given near future. And we have a bunch of lame people in Congress. Yes, I said lame. I'm talking about both sides. They're out there griping about this and that. Meanwhile, they've got important bills. They got the token taxonomy sitting in their desk. And they go on interview Zuckerberg and start hitting with questions like, why are you moving why are you going? To, why are you going to Switzerland? Um, well, I don't know. I mean, you know, Zuck said, well, I don't know. That's an interesting question. Um, uh, why don't you um, go back on your desk and rifle through and find the uh, the token taxonomy? Why don't you sign off on it, and then we'll be able to maybe stay here. I don't know. Just a thought, maybe. So anyway, there's a whole article on on central banks and digital currency and blah blah blah. But here's what I see happening. Um, what's happening is you see Asia once again leading the way. You see Japan being a giant player, but you're seeing all kinds of things happen over in Asia at large. You see what's happening in China. China, you know, we've talked a little bit about this. China has gone all in and saying, yeah, we're going to go all in on digital currency, launching their own digital asset. And a lot of people are like, wow, man, they're just innovators. And really think about how awesome it is if you are a if you're a communist nation, let's see, you want to keep tabs on the people. So you 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 basically start tracking every payment. You, you see everything. Everything's transparent in the blockchain. So now you even have that extra level of control. So it makes perfect sense that China would go all in. You throw in AI, you throw in cameras everywhere, you throw in a social score. And now, man, you've just locked that baby up. You have total domination and control. Good on you for doing that. Take, keep track of your citizens eroding even more freedoms of anyone who is in China. Um, if you don't have the right social score, you're not getting anywhere near a big city. You're, you're basically going to be banned for life. Your family will be banned for life. And, uh, you know, you have to have a certain card sometimes to get in some of the big cities there. And you're just kind of, you know, basically on the on the uh, outside here. And um, I always love these little these little illustrations they put together. Here's a happy couple. Um, the, they look some, somewhat happy, but also a little bit mesmerized. But the uh, the ABA Foundation introduced a new crypto-enabled credit card technology. Um, there's a lot of um, things that have come out. I don't know why this is so skewed, but it has a lot to do with, um, like I said, uh, why would it be all on one side? Who knows? I don't really know. But again, I don't, it's not really that I have to go in deep here I and mean, we could go in here. But 
Uh, the co-founder revealed that APay supports Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, um, Ethereum, Ethereum Classic, Litecoin Dash, EOS, Ripple. See, there it is, Ripple. Boom. Can you get it right, people? It's not that hard. Ripple's the company, and XRP's the digital asset. So let me uh, let me just say that it's XRP, Zcash, and a native cryptocurrency built by APay. Whoa, their own their own one. So he clarified that APay does not require the merchant to accept cryptocurrencies. They only need to accept the conventional credit card payment and APay solution automatically converts. So what we're seeing is a massive shift around a lot of different companies. We're seeing this come out more and more. We're starting to see, when we talked about what does it look like, mass adoption, well, this is part of what it looks like. It looks like credit cards, right? It looks like cards that you can use at regular terminals. It looks like MasterCard, you know, going out there and with and partnering up with other companies, Visa, American Express. And there was an interesting stat I read that was probably the other day, something where 6% of the, of the global uh, population do not have credit cards. So, and it's not about necessarily the credit side of it, but it's being able to go to a terminal or traveling somewhere and being able to, hey, it's it's loaded up with cryptocurrency, but now I can go ahead and use it at any any terminal that offers like a Visa or a MasterCard. Something along those lines. Let's go back over to the chat. I like to pop to the chat a little bit. Um, what's he saying? Um, do, 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 do. Yeah, so uh, Kung Fu Nerd posted earlier in the week, there are 4,978 coins on CMC, four, almost 5,000 uh, are useless. Yeah, that's kind of true. There is there, there is a lot of useless stuff going on out there. But you know what? Everyone has a shot at it, man. Everybody has a shot. You know, lay out your best case scenario. Let's see what you can do with it, right? Let's see what you got. Let's see what you got. What else is going on? I'm scrolling up a little bit. Trying to read through some of these uh, comments here. And what else do we have here? Yeah, so Roy took off. Wait, thanks for stopping in, Roy, if you're still here. Six more thumbs up and let's call it even. Right on. Yeah, let's call it even. Or we'll call it Steven. What? Um, so Notorious says, hey, fingerprint technology will take over. It's already being implemented on some airports where all you have to do is scan your fingerprint to check in all your information's on the terminal. That's interesting. So I was talking about that new MacBook that came out. They've got a, something in there called the T2 chip. What that is is right on board, right on, right on the, um, on the uh, keyboard itself. You have a, you, you can hook up every website and everything you do, so that you have to have your fingerprint. It's another, it's another. There's Ubico, which is another USB sort of a device. So there's, there, we're getting better with security and protecting our privacy. I've talked a little bit about some of the uh, this new technology that Apple released. And I'm really hoping that Google and Samsung follow suit. And what it is is that if you go to a website, you're signing up for the first time, you can actually sign in as Apple. So you sign in with your normal Apple like you always do. And on my phone, I just use my face or it might be a fingerprint of some kind, you know, depending on what phone. And I just sign in with that. I don't have to do the username, the passwords, yet another password. I already have a secured Thing. And what Apple does, Apple creates a unique ID and then it actually asks me, hey, do you want to share your, your email with them? No, I don't. So they don't really know who I am. I'm a little more anonymous. And if they get hacked, I'm somewhat safe because, you know, I'm not saying that Apple couldn't get hacked. I'm just saying that at least it's protected by some biometrics, whether it's a fingerprint, whether it's my face, a, a scan of some kind. It's at least protected on that way and versus another. So I've, I've said this. You guys probably see me post this many times. Out there, the first rule of Crypto Club, do not leave your coins on an exchange. And the second rule, very simple, do not leave your cryptocurrencies on an exchange, right? I've said this at nauseum. And again, so, you know, we hear all kinds of crazy stories. And um, look, I mean, if you want to, if you have a little bit of risk and you want to put it into an unsecured sort of a scenario and where the, the exchange is going to offer you some kind of a, you know, seven or eight percent on your coins, fine. But uh, you know, my if I'm doing it, I'm gonna go with somebody who's backed up, insured, um, has aud third-party audits, audits on it, um, has a real custodial solution. That's what I'm interested in because guess what? They all get hacked sooner or later, and very few actually have insurance that's worth anything. And um, I don't consider self-insured to be worth anything. And I actually wish Roy was still in here because I wanted to something I stole from Roy where Roy told a little story about it. He said, what happens? Can you imagine getting pulled over by the police? You're driving down the road. You notice the police. Oh, no, the police are after me. You pull over to the side of the road. Police officer comes over and says, hey, can I see your proof of insurance? 
Can I see your proof of insurance? Yeah, I'd like to see your proof of insurance. Well, let me look at that proof of insurance. Hey, officer, I'm self-insured. Oh, no problem. Hey, you're on, you're good to go. Yeah, you are self-insured. Yeah, a million dollars. Good. You are good to go. Go on. Take off, my man. You're good. Do you ever see that scenario unfolding? No. But we're okay with, hey, you know what? Let's put our, let's put our coins on an exchange. They're self-insured. Um, self-insured doesn't work. Your, something happens to your house and you're self-insured. I mean, come on. It's a really sort of a big ruse. So um, basically, here's, a, here's a, a really another sad story. Um, speaking today at Blockchain Show Asia 2019, Genesis Block HK co-founder Clement uh, um, shared a negative personal experience during a panel on how Asian trading firms make profits. His company is a blockchain venture capital firm, CryptoQuant Hedge Fund, and a mining company focused on investing in blockchain projects. Sharing the stage with two other speakers, Kyle Davies of Three Arrows Capital and Joshua Ho of QCP Capital, Ip came out with a sad story. He said he lost a lot of coins due to an exchange hack. And his takeaway lesson was clear. Do not leave your assets on exchanges. Don't be lazy. I've been into it and I've learned a good lesson. Okay, That's not how you want to learn the lesson. You don't want to learn the lesson by waking up one morning in a sheer panic and you realize, uh-oh, I put my coins with the hope of earning X and it's no longer there. So that's not a good not a good scenario at all. Moving right along. XRP Militant this morning, uh, same thing. Uh, Minneapolis Airport, what did I miss here? Something's going on. Let's jump back over here. Uh, let's see. Toria says, uh, Jeff, soon we'll have to bring your, you won't have to bring your wallet anymore because of digital. Um, AJ says, um, review a new stat in Canada. 48% of the population are less than $200 away from bankruptcy. Wow, that's something. Ouch, that's a, that, that's that's uh, that's a pretty sad stat, really. Um, what happened? Police officers will ask for fingerprints when they pull you over. Yeah, that could happen. I mean, right now they scan my 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 card. They they have a scanner for my for my license right now, and they have pretty much everything. Smash some likes and thumbs up. Thanks, you GXRP Prez. Thank you, appreciate that. Gave the customer a choice, produce a passport or facial check-in. That's what he's saying. That's That was the uh, choice. Wow. Interesting. Jeff, uh, message retracted. Okay, you retracted the message. All right, that's fair enough. Fair enough. Maybe a misspelling. Don't know. Anyway, let's jump right in this. We've got a couple more things to go. I've got another appointment. That was a call right there for an appointment. Yeah, working on Saturday. Yes, Chip works on Saturdays. Uh, here's one. Consensus strat stat Holy cow. Can we start that over? Let's start it over. Consensus strategy chief steps down to launch venture fund. Okay, I just love what's going on in the space. You have an idea, go out there, seek the money. Because what's happening is right now there has never been more money for any sort of projects and startups in the, the digital asset space. The fintech space is just taking off. And here's another smart um, guy, Sam Kassad, stepping down to launch this new fund called Align Capital. It's the back end of consensus. Um, so co-founder uh, Joe Lubin, consensus said that Cassatt will stay on with the Ethereum Venture Studio in an advisory capacity, meaning he'll still be on the payroll. They'll still be using his name, but he's going to be moving on. This is pretty cool. This is a fund that's designed to anticipate civilization scale, evolutionary changes in human behavior. Also backed aligned is Dharma Capital, managing partner Andrew Keyes, another former consensus executive. What you're seeing is a lot of people, the smart people, who have done something in the world, now they're going out to, to seek out other projects and things that are going down, which is really awesome. Um, I saw this article, this is pretty cool right here, I'm probably gonna run through a commercial, yeah, it's probably gonna run a commercial, but anyway, look at this. So rats were taught to drive tiny cars to lower the stress levels. You know, and we no one really knew the level of capacity that rats are dealing with right now. The amount of stress they go through on a daily basis is insane. So um, some scientists thought it might be a really good idea to teach them how to drive a car because, you know, I mean, what are rats supposed to be doing? They're, they're stressed out. You know, you can give them some, some stress tabs or something like this. But just check this out, man. Look at that little guy go. And where is he headed towards? There's a little water bottle right there. You see that? There's a water bottle. It drives the car over because, you know, it's a lot of trouble walking and rats get really stressed out apparently. Jumps in the car, hits the controls heads right over to that water bottle because he's like, hey, man, the only way you really can get to it, apparently, is by driving this car. So it's, uh, I don't know, man. I just, I, I guess I didn't know how stressed out rats were. I mean, who knew, really? 
But um, it'd be pretty cool. You know, I'm wondering if Tesla's going to get involved in this venture. You know, I don't know if that's an electric car. I'm guessing it is. You know, how they discovered that. Maybe they could put a Tesla sticker on the side of that. You know, and maybe rats would be driving all over the place in New York City. And then maybe they'll have to make a special lane for them in New York City. Because New York City is basically just, there are so I think there's more rats in New York City than there are people. And I think they should be driving cars. Be a little bit safer. Um, you wouldn't have to step on them. The, you know, they just drive around in their own little lane. Maybe it's a tunnel somewhere because they're so stressed out, man. They need. And how did they learn to drive? Well, the uh, Dr. Lambert said, and her colleagues built this tiny electric car by attaching a clear plastic jar to an aluminum plate. Well, that's okay. So copper wire is threaded. Okay, okay. To drive the car, he sits on an aluminum plate and then touches the copper wire. The circuit then will com complete, and then the, the rack gets shot. No, no, the rack dies because of the shock. No, it's not like that. It's just conducive there. So after months of training, the rats learn not only how to drive and make the rat mobile, but they also learn how to change direction. Okay, this is this is interesting. Interesting, right? Who knows about who knew? But I'm really feeling bad for rats now. Next time you see a rat, just understand, you know, be a little empathetic. Hey, man, you're dealing with a lot of stress. You don't know. They're dealing with some stuff. You know, and you're like, hey, buddy. Listen, if you start driving a car around, you might feel a little bit better about yourself. It can happen, right? Anyway, I'm going to sign off in a little bit. I just wanted to, again, I wanted to talk a little bit about the XRP Community Choice Awards. I started off talking about that. Go to at here for XRP, the number four right there, for XRP. Let's bring it into focus right there. Um, it's only $5. $5. Holy cow. 5XRP. 5 5XRP 5 gets you a ticket to the event. Um, all proceeds are donated to the XRP Community Fund, which helps pay developers to code um, solutions that make it easier for the little guy to use XRP for payments, which is pretty awesome. So spread the word, uh, you know, phone your friends, wake the neighbors. Go to onthechain.io, onthechain.io. Go ahead, drop your email there if you haven't. We're going to be starting putting out some good stuff. We'll let you know um, some where, we're, where we are on the podcast. So if you want to take us with you and you don't want to have YouTube open on your phone and close it and it turns off all the time, you'll be able to take us with you in the car. And then just listen to us because most of you do that anyway. And also we're going to be announcing a brand new um, contributor that we're going to be bringing on as well. And check out all the other contributors uh, on the channel. We have two channels. If you look, if you look below, right down there, or you go right down there. <clears throat> excuse me. And you click down there. There's actually a little link down there for our other YouTube channel. This is where all of our live streams happen or interviews. And then what we'll do is we'll probably start cutting some of those up into smaller digestible pieces. And all the uploaded videos go on the other channel. So make sure you're subscribed to both. Sub both of them. If it's your first time here, go ahead and sub below. An interesting stat, 45% of the people that visit either channel where it was suggested to them do not subscribe. And um, and I just suggest they just watched it one time. And how many times you suggested a video, you watch it, you're not thinking about subscribing. So, I mean, that, that would be pretty nice growth if you had 40% of the people stopping by and watching to go ahead and do that. So this is Chip off the block signing off. Chip is out. And I'm out in three, two, one. Chip out.